everybody welcome back to another episode of final fantasy 10 we just got riku here um so that's kind of cool and we're just headed to somewhere where i'm actually not super sure where we're going but um let's go ahead and heal everyone up and let's continue oh, looks like a giant tree thing oh guada salam okay so the people were telling us about that i wasn't really paying attention though okay any chests in the corners no chests okay Forward we go then. Into the depths of this giant tree, it looks like. The city? We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. I don't like Of them. course, uh, your friends are also welcome. They're creepy. Their faces don't look right. It's like they're like... Twist our arms, why don't you? They're like... Ah, I almost forgot. Oh. Now that we, you can customize weapons and armor, let's take a look. Yeah, they, they look like, like half human, half squid that have done too much cocaine or something. Customize... Okay, so by adding abilities to them. Okay. So, Baroque's items. Items are needed to customize. Okay. Choose the gear. Don't this sound. Okay, cannot. Okay. Art. Art empty. The gear can be customized. Okay. An item is no empty slots, it cannot. Okay, fair enough. There's also gear that cannot be customized no matter what. Now. Okay. Okay. Uh, say yes. Do I have to do it? Oh, I have to do it. Some gear got new names after customization. It concludes? Okay. What would you do without me? Indeed. Okay. I guess it is time for us to check out the town. Is this the inn? I'm guessing this is the inn. Yeah, it was pretty obvious that it was. If we Guado help the warrior monks patrol the roads beyond, why wouldn't we do all we can for the good of Spira? What are you doing Can't down here? about the far plane or the pyre fly? Why not? Ahem. The far plane's the place where pyre flies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery. But maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the heart of the living. And that little bit borrows the fireflies' power for their paranormal performance. He or maybe not. So Who knows? Creepily. And that, as they say, is that. Um. Let's hear about the pyre. Ahem. They may be called pyre. There, are those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for okay, visions of the past. Uh... Spheres, fiends. These are all the pyre flies doing. In fact, pyre flies have something to do with aeons, too. Aeons. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows? And that, as they said. Okay. Um, yeah, let's. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and stay here for the night. Get all rested up. What are you doing here? Oh! It seems that Maester Seymour. He's young. Okay, go ahead and save. Do a little Saberu action here. Now let's continue throughout the town. Um, 
This is the way to the manor? Is this the manor? Mega potion. It's over here, nothing. Is this the manor? Yuna's in here. Maybe? No! This way, please. Okay, I was hoping to do a little bit of exploring first, but no problem. Okay, yes, I don't want to go in there yet. Let me explore at the top here. Those are very creepy. Ooh, a hidden chest. Oh, no. Lord Seymour's private chambers, you may not enter. Okay, can I go to the sides? I can't, okay. Then I guess our exploring is done. Is there a chest here? Oh, all right, let's go inside. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Uh, please wait here. It's their large arms, man. They look like they're straight out of Dishonored or something. Okay. Is the door? Can I... No? Okay, then let's talk to everyone. Mm. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Fair enough. I'll let you walk I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Mm, I agree. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. Mari? Uh, Mari not like me. Uh, shh. <laughs> or by you, you know. What could it be? I don't know. <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. Oh, that guy's so weird. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. Oh, wait, the music just cut out so quickly.
This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the park. It's anarchy. Zanarkin, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Zanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Is that Lady Unaleska? She was the first person to defeat sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone True. to defeat the undefeatable sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. See where he's going with all this. He trying to get some loving. Can't hear what they're saying. Your face is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. 
fuck does that mean? <laughs> ah. Is he a ghost or something? Is he already dead? What the heck does that mean? Can we go back in? Can, can I now go in the Seymour's quarters? No, I guess first we need to get Lady Yuna to marry him and then maybe we'll be able to go in there. Okay, let's, I guess, keep exploring the town? What is this place? Ooh, this is our item shop? Telling a squad out, you find it difficult telling a squad apart. Suppose you think we all look the same. No, not at all. You guys all have different hair. So, no, not really. 3,000 gil? Okay, we'll take that. Um, all soul protectors of the Sarp and the Guado are the supreme race of Spira. We are fundamentally different from the populous humans in the hulking Ronzo. That's an old story. Now the Guado seek harmony with other races. Okay, it doesn't sound like it, guy. You sound like you still got a little bit of an ego running. That's alright. We all have a little bit of ego running. An elixir? Okay. What's this? Guardian abandoning a summoner. Most unbecoming. Hmm. I wasn't gonna ditch her, but. Let's get that way. How do I get. That's the end. I wanna get to. Th oh, over here. I was like, I wanna get to whatever this place is here. There's two. Is this the weapons shop? Can I give you money? Oh. Let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire play. Listen, you watch that they don't get you too. Me, you um. can trust. More than a Guado, at least. Alright, what do you got? So he is upcharging a tiny bit. What a meanie. Don't upcharge, that's gross. Okay, let's see. What's in here? We're just talking about Lady Yuna, and she's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. She fought alongside Lord Seymour during Operation Meehan, right? She sure did. Uh, thou seems to weary, good traveler. Was thou rest? Feed a while. Ah, do you like my speech? Perplexes thee. This old Guado I speak, a seldom tongue heard with. Okay, sounds like you're just speaking old English. Yeah, it just seems like you're just speaking old English. That's, that's funny. Are the Guado just Englishmen? The elders just won't give up the old tongue. I keep telling them how seemingly it is babbling like that to guests. So he's an old guy. Okay, that makes sense. Let's walk down here, and we're back. We are back to where we started. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado. Married in the name of Yevon. Overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way. We gotta defeat sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, Maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this. But I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? 
I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Huh? I guess to the far plane we go. Oh, we go up here. Right, 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 right. Proper conduct, please. Okay, now I remember we had to go up here. Oh, flashing lights. So all of those things were dead people? That's crazy. Question about this far <sighs> plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. Fair question, honestly. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Okay, not much of an explanation, buddy, but I basically <laughs> stop asking. Well, you'll see. So he keeps explaining. It. Aren't you coming? <sighs> I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. So we're leaving them two behind. You're still okay. Basically, told us to go away. Right, let's go. Creepy. What the? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy, he looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought, maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on a far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about? I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Whoa. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. 
I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> what? what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but don't be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. It's cute. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's Sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh... uh... Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. That's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, See so, so I, told I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just, Just a, a sec, sec dear. dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a, sec, a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> okay. 
Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Lord Jiskal! Oh, Lord Jiskal! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> what was all that? Talk later. We leave now. What's up with Orin? Why did he like shrink in pain when that happened? What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? I don't understand. Wait, why did it skip? You must avoid unseemly rumors for the sake of Spears Harmony. Why did it skip all of that? Okay. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. That was weird. Are the dialogues different? I might need her. We have dialogues. Lord just go back from apart, but you must be joking. He passed away in peace, leaving the leadership of Seymour. He would never come back to haunt us. Say you played for the Yeah, well, you already um Okay. Is that a book? Ooh! Okay, I almost missed that book. I probably already missed quite a few of them already in a bunch of towns, but I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um what? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment on the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.